good and well so this is basically marriage has gotten me bigger than I have ever been before um I know a lot of you say because like with my pre my previous video you were like you don't even need to lose weight I think I mentioned something about losing weight or going to the gym or something like that by the way I've just curled my hair after a very long time and my hair is uh gradually getting back to how it used to be before uh because if you didn't know if you're not on my beauty channel I did a video there where I basically spoke about my disastrous haircut that I had in Las Vegas um when I went there and um it was really badly chopped and everything so now it's like growing out um thanks to all of the head massages that I do um, so it's growing out now which I'm so thankful for and now I can actually start to curl my hair and it's starting to fall in place better than it did when I came back from Las Vegas because when I came back from Las Vegas it was like choppy layers and stuff oh my god it was, it was horrible I didn't like it and um, I was so upset so now I have just decided to curl my hair because I this is like my Valentine's Day uh, Rihanna inspired look and I really like it so um, anyway going back to the whole topic of um, marriage and how it's put weight on so like before I got married oh sorry my flipping uh, hairs on me. so before I got married uh, my mom, my mom's sister, um, and my aunt, so my mom's brother's uh, wife, uh, they're all like, oh, when you get married, you know, you get so comfortable to your husband, and when he eats, you eat, and you end up putting a bit of weight on. Well, guess what? Um, when I was sat curling my hair, I was like, what in earth has happened to my waist, or what's happened to like my hips? They have actually gotten bigger, believe it or not they have gotten bigger I like I can tell like I put either like with age because they say as you get older as well like obviously your body's still changing and all that stuff so um they do say like you do put on some weight or something like that but this is like more weight I've ever put on like I actually weighed myself I'm not embarrassed I'll tell you all how much I weigh I weigh eight and a half stones um I think in America they do it by something else, but here, like, I do it by stones. So, anyway, I weigh eight and a half stones, which um, is perfectly fine, actually, because when I've had, like, a bit of a slimmer figure, I've been eight and a half, between eight and eight and a half. I would like to get back down to eight. So, this week, actually, I am on a, a routine of literally uh, working out and I'm controlling what I'm eating, and I am going to do a video on it. Um, so I weighed myself uh, yesterday, Sunday, so on Monday today, and then I basically said to my husband, I was like, I want to basically have like smoothies, um, not eat as much as I've been eating, which is so bad, and yeah, and see basically like I'm exercising a lot more as well, we're basically going for more power walks than anything else, so I'm doing more power walks to help burn the calories that I take on and to tone up my legs and my bum and then whilst I'm doing it I'm like doing a few um like squats and stuff because we go like in the evening it's get, it gets dark really early here now so when I go in the evening like everybody does their curtains so I can just star Johnson in the middle of the street I can dance around do whatever I want no one's gonna see it so um I'm doing that and then I am also um, so having the smoothies doing that and I'm only having uh, one big meal but I'm having little snacks um, in between and stuff while I was having my smoothies so I'm gonna see how that works and then report back to you all so I'm basically gonna do a um, a uh, video on it on if I lose quite a bit of weight in the week then I will be one really happy but two that's really good because then I can share it with all of you like, as well and um so i'm doing that but it's just amazing because like i'll be honest with you my husband is as slim as anything i swear to god he is he's blessed he's got a very high metabolism and everything so no matter what he eats it's like he doesn't it doesn't go on to him but he plays football every week as well so he runs literally con continuously running for at least two hours or uh, two and a half hours he plays um whereas me well <laughs> I thought I had a higher metabolism. I realised once I got married, I don't. <laughs> it's so bad. No, I do. I don't put weight on that bad. But um, 
uh, I, I have put some weight on um, before I got married I'll be honest I used to be out and about like I'd walk a lot all the time because I wasn't driving then either I'd only passed my test my driving test once I got married um, that's only because the theory test was about to end um, and I was like no way am I going to go sit that theory test again so um, I made sure I passed that but um, uh, I used to be like all the time, like all the all the time on the go and everything. Like I used to walk to the bus stop, and from my house, my parents' house to the bus stop, maybe it was about fifteen minutes. But I used to walk as fast as I could. Um, people probably think like I'm being chased by something, but it's just that I always thought like I don't believe in like slow walking. That's why I get really irritated when I go to shopping centres, and people are really just taking their time. And I can understand it's a shopping centre; you would take your time, but I'm always like always on the go like walking as fast as I can so I'd go to the city centre or meet up with like a few of my friends and like we'd go walking 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 that was it we'd sit at the cafe for a bit and I'd be like let's go let's go walking and that's how I maintained my slim figure now I've gotten married I've moved to a different part of Leeds which is um I guess I I joke around with my husband I say it's like um the ghetto part the part where i wouldn't really be walking around by myself and um i wouldn't really recommend any girl to be walking around by themselves i always have somebody with you and stuff but it's not that rough i know i've just explained it it sounds like it's rough but it's not it's just compared to where my parents live it's um not like where my parents live so where my parents live i'm, I'm really comfortable to like walk around and everything so anyway here like even my husband says he's like if you want to go out i'll go out with you so um i've just not been in the routine of walking and that was the only thing like I said that was the only thing that maintained my figure and then my husband loves food and I was like oh let's see what food you have so I'm like trying all sorts of the food that he has as well not realizing I'm actually putting this weight on and so whilst I was sat there curling my hair and I know they normally say like when you're sat on the floor like you know especially if you're wearing like tight trousers and stuff then like you know it kind of overlaps does your weight and stuff but this I'm telling you I am really disappointed I'm like I really need to work out now and uh, so yeah plus we've also got like a holiday plan it's not definitely like book but we've got a holiday planned and um I guess that's really really motivated me I'm like I'm doing this now because if I'm gonna wear, be wearing my bikinis or even like a full piece I don't want to I don't want to be you know having extra love handles and all that stuff you know I want to make sure that I'm how I should be but it's just amazing like how have you found it like for all the viewers that I have who are married have you guys put on weight since you've gotten married oh my god if you haven't you're so good you've probably been keeping up with like all the things that you were doing before so then you didn't have to put on like well you don't put on weight but it's just crazy I can't believe it like my mum my mum's sister my mum's brother's uh, wife were like trust me when you get married like you will put on weight I'm like no why would I put on weight I'm just gonna keep as active as I used to keep active before have I no I haven't at all the only active thing I do is like um we they've got like their attic converted um and it's, oh, it's absolutely cozy i love i love attics that are converted into bedrooms because they're a lot more spacious but anyway um so i've got to go up two lots of stairs so that's like my only workout oh my god it's so bad it's so funny but yeah so um that's my little dilemma um but otherwise like i i went to morrison's today and i bought myself some um blueberries because they're really good for you about blackberries i could not find raspberries i'll probably tr go to tesco and find some raspberries tomorrow um but this little uh, mixture i'm going to tell you is really good um if you get pears apples uh blueberries raspberries preferably but i've got blackberries just because i couldn't find the raspberries um and also goji berries if you blend all them together and have it as a smoothie it's really good for your weight it gives you energy um it also prevents cold flu so it's basically giving you all the nutrients and everything just so then you're protected um so i'm going to be having that smoothie like every day i got all this stuff downstairs i got like three lots of literally everything um and i'm going to chop it up later on tonight chop it up blend it up 
and then I'm going to be having that. So what, the way that I like to do my smoothies as well is I like to have um, a bit blended the night before so I wake up to it and then I could have maybe two glasses or something or three glasses per day and then again night before I blend it so I've got it ready for the next day. I don't really like to blend it all and then have it ready for like you know the week or something you know like four days I, I don't like that stuff so I'm just going to do it bit by bit but when I do it there is going to be a video on it on my beauty channel so when I do actually do the video bit and I'll list the whole benefits and everything like that a bit so make sure you are subscribed to my beauty channel but other than that like I've been doing that and then um next week so this week I'm doing it all fruits next week I'm going to get the um uh, like spinach the kale leaves uh cucumbers um what else i'm gonna add a bit of mint into it there's so many different things i'm gonna add some apples into it some pears so that's like a full detox as well and i plan to do this and i'm gonna tell you guys how much weight i have lost because i know there's like things you can go to these like um i used to have aloe vera for a while like the raw aloe vera plant um we slice it up and take it out and I'd have that as well and that used to really make me run to the toilet I swear but then afterwards um we stopped getting it I don't know why we stopped getting it I think it was like my hubby's brother or someone who used to like bring it and everything else um but we just stopped getting it so now I'm gonna do this and I'm on a mission to seriously lose some wobble what do you guys do do you guys like have some supplements I know like um, I know on uh, Facebook there's quite a few girls who sell the Forever Living, the aloe vera stuff and there's this one girl who she posted a picture when she first started and I think it's is it 9 days or 9 weeks or something, I'm a bit confused uh, right now, um, I don't know which one it is, 9 days or 9 weeks and she I think she lost like a stone or something and she showed like the picture before she lost the weight, picture after she lost the weight and stuff and it's pretty impressive but I was speaking to a lady who actually watches me here and um she was saying i asked her what's in the drinks and she was like it's just pure aloe vera um so i'm gonna try it my way i'm gonna try having the smoothies cutting down all the bigger meals i have have snacks instead and have a smaller size uh, portion meal in the evening and then just continuously have my smoothies and i'm gonna see how that goes and how that works because i've done things in the past where i stuck to having a green tea or white tea i'll have fruits and then like um i'll have just like a few snacks so my snacks are like say like um nuts fruits um i'll have like the crackers but then i get a bit tempted to have like philadelphia cheese oh god that stuff is um oh it's so delicious um and then like i eat heavy that's the thing that's what i used to do i used to eat heavy so i need to control what it is that i'm eating in the evening um and then i'm gonna see how it works i'm gonna see how i get on with it but i'm sure it'll go amazingly so um yeah I'm going to do that stuff. So let me know what do you guys do. Do you guys have like supplements? Do you do drinks? Do you just watch what you eat? Or do you just solidly work out at the gym? Or are you just happy with the way that you look? Uh, the way that you look, sorry. Are you happy with the curves? Are you happy with your body? Are you happy with everything? I am happy. I'm, I, In fact, I like that I put a bit of weight on. But I'd like to take some off and just keep a bit there rather than having the amount that I've got on right now. Um, I think it makes me look a bit more curvier, which I like. But just because, like, I'm so used to having such a flat stomach, my stomach has begun to, like, stick out as if, like as if I'm pregnant or something, that's how it's began to stick out, which I'm not happy with that, so that is what I'd like to work on, but everywhere else is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, what do you all do? I'd be interested to know what you all take and like what routine you guys go through, um, and yeah, I shall see you all in my next video.